Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at how to block users from opening certain programs on Windows 11. So if you've got a program that you want to block for a particular user on your computer, then this is how you're going to go about doing it. Let's just say we want to block VLC here from opening. It can be any program on your computer, but we're just going to use VLC for this video. So first off, what you need to do is find where the program is located. In this case, it's in program files. We're going to come down to the location where the program is, and you can see it's right here. It's called vlc.exe. The file name is important because it's that which is what we're going to be blocking inside of our group policy. And I'll also show you how to do it in the registry if you're on Windows uh, 11 home. So open up the group policy editor by typing GP edit and then navigate to user configuration, administrative templates, and then system. Inside here, we're gonna go right here where it says, don't run specific Windows applications. And we're gonna click on this one and open it. It should look something like this. From here, you need to enable this policy. So we're gonna go ahead and enable it. Then we need to click on the list of disallowed applications, click on show, and it will look something like this. Now we can put in our extension for that particular file. In this case, it was vlc.exe. And that is all you need to do. Now, if you've got others you wanna list here, you can list them down, click OK, and click OK again. And now when you go to open that program, it is going to be completely blocked for that user. Now, if you wanna do it for the computer, you can do, but this is for a, a user. So we're gonna basically block it. And you can see it's not allowing us to run that application because it's been restricted by our group policy setting here. So let's go ahead and quickly remove this by double clicking on it. And all you need to do here really is go to the show configuration here and we can see we've got the file name here. If you wanna add more in, you can do. If you wanna remove it, just uh, put it to not configured and it will remove all of the configurations that you set for these policies, which are to block applications from running that are in that list. So that's all you need to do there. So that's now done and it should now be removed. Let me just quickly show you here by enabling it again. You can see that the file has now been removed because I put it to not configured. So just add in the programs that you want if you want to block other programs. But you can see here it's now working because we've uh, removed it. So how would you go about doing this on a Windows 10 home or Windows 11 home system? So type regedit in the search box and open up the registry editor and you should see something looking like this. Now we wanna to navigate to this location here. On your screen, you should be able to see this location. So what we're gonna do is gonna go down to H key uh, current user here because we wanna block it for the user and not the machine. So let's go ahead and click on this. And what we're gonna do is go to H key current user software, open that one up there and then come down to where it says uh, Microsoft. It should be around here, there it is. And now we need to open this up and we're gonna come down uh, to where we see uh, Windows. There we go, click on this one, open that up and then go current version. Then open this one up. And then what we're gonna do is come down to where it says uh, policies here. Click on policies and then we can click on Explorer, there we go, so we're there. So that's the location we need to go to. Now, inside the Explorer folder, what we need to do is go on the right-hand pane here, click New, DWORD 32-bit value. We're going to need to give uh, that value a name, so we're gonna be calling this Disallow Run. So let's go Disallow Run here, just as you see on the screen. Once you've got that, we can now double-click on it to open uh, that value and let's go in there and we're going to give this a value of one and click OK. So now we're there, we've done that. What we need to do now is on the Explorer folder, right click and go new key. Inside this key, we're going to call this disallow run. Just like so. That's done. And inside that disallow run folder, we're going to go over to the right hand pane here. So on the right hand pane, we need to give this a string value. So go new string value, click on that. And we're going to give this a name called one. And we're going to double click on this 
and we're going to put in here the executable that we want to block. For instance, vlc.exe is what we want to block. And if you want to add other ones inside here, you can do. All we need to do is add another string value and call it number two. And if you want to add another one, it'll be number three and so on and so on. So we've got disallow run inside the Explorer folder as a DWORD 32-bit value. And then we've got a, a folder called disallow run inside the Explorer. And then we called the a string value called number one. It's that simple. If you want to add another one, just do this and give it number two and then put in the executable inside there. Say, for instance, we want to call this uh, BitTorrent, say, uh, and put this inside here. And this will block BitTorrent from opening, just like so. And you get the general idea. And you would add in as many as you like. And you'd do the same thing on group policy as well. So I'm going to remove this second one and leave just VLC here. And now we can close off the registry editor and restart the PC. It's important that you restart the PC with registry edit. So let's go ahead and do that. Once you've restarted, if you try to open VLC, you'll see here that it has been blocked just like it would be inside group policy. So you can use this in Windows 10 Home or Windows 11 Home, and you can use it on Windows 11 Pro and above, as well as uh, Windows 10 Pro and above as well. If you want to remove the key, you just remove that one there. And if you want to go through and uh, remove the others, you can do, but just removing the number one or number two or number three would be fine and then the actual program will open, as you can see right here. Very simple and easy to do, but that's basically how you can prevent applications from opening on a Windows-based system. So if you have a user account or a user that you want to block certain programs and stop them opening it, that's how you can do it on Windows 11, and it's the same for Windows 10 as well. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you have a lovely weekend. I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.